Hey guys, it's Greg. I'm back with another review for you. And this time it's the Grey Hulk Comiquette by Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, I'm not going to bother with my rotating display today because the statue is way too heavy for it. And the box isn't that interesting. Um, on the front you've got this, this picture on the front's quite cool. Um, but the other sides are black and the back is just a smaller version of this picture. Um, on the bottom you've got the edition number as usual. Um, this one's limited to 500 pieces and this is number 368. And the box is huge. Um, and so is the statue. <laughs> okay, so that's the box. A uh, quick front view of it and let's have a look at the statue. Okay, so here's the statue. Uh, this piece is absolutely massive. Um, I'm not sure quite how tall it is. I think it's about 26 inches. It's huge. And with the pose as well, it's just massive width ways. Uh, it's, it's just <laughs> finding somewhere to put this is going to be a bit of a challenge. At the moment, I've got it where I normally keep the Spider-Man Comiquette. Um, but I'll find somewhere. Uh, so this piece, I was up and down about whether to order it for quite some time. Because um, to me, I'm not a comic book reader, so to me the Hulk is just green. Um, so I wasn't really sure I wanted a grey one. Um, I decided against it. It sold out on Sideshow. Then the prices seemed to gradually creep up. And everyone that got it said that this was the best of the bunch. Um, there was three versions, this one, the green one and the red one. And then I kind of regretted that I didn't get it. Um, and then on Facebook, uh, Chris Silver, uh, I think his YouTube name is Big Silver 77 Could be wrong about that. Uh, he posted that it was back in stock. Um, so I ordered it. Uh, the reason being that I ordered the Hulk maquette back in January, I think. And um, it's taken so long to reach the UK, I got fed up of waiting. So I thought I'd order this in the meantime. And despite it being in stock on Sideshow, it still took two months for it to arrive. Um, and it's now nearly June. And the Hulk maquette is due to turn up, I believe, in the next couple of weeks. So I've waited ages for a Hulk, and now it looks like I'm going to have two. <laughs> the idea being that I might sell one of them. Um, but I wasn't expecting to like this one quite as much as I do. So as I said, there was three versions of this. First they brought out the green one. Um, which was nice, but people complained about the hair. He had a bit of a Mike Tyson haircut. Uh, then they brought out a red one. Uh, the green one was limited to, I think, a thousand regulars and 500 exclusives. Then they brought out a red one, which was limited to 1,750 pieces. And then finally they brought out this grey one which is limited to just 500 pieces. I always love the sculpt on this, this is why I wanted it. Just the way he's smashing into the base there. And the gravel going everywhere. Those two steel girders are separate, you just plug them into the base. And Hulk himself has just got one massive peg on this foot, which plugs in. Just the size of it, the paint job's really good. Uh, Sideshow, their paint job seemed to be a bit hit and miss. But on this one, I can't find any issues. 
the size of his muscles, just incredible. The face is really nice. They've really captured the uh, rage on his face. No paint issues on there, the mouth's really good. Eyes are good. The hair. It looks to me like their hair was a separate piece which they've painted and then either glued on, I presume. Um, so there's no paint issues around the hair. All the shading's really good, really nice. Not too overdone, but it gives a nice effect. And his jeans are nice too. We've even got the wrinkles on his knees there. Really nicely detailed. And his feet. It's just such an amazing pose. Okay, I'm just going to spin him around so you can take a look at his back. Okay, so here's the back view of him. Just, just massive. <laughs> You really do need a lot of space to display this guy. The detail really is incredible on his muscles, the muscle definition, the shading. I, and I really, really like the colour. I say Hulk to me should be green. Um, a friend of mine on Facebook recently had his Red Hulk comma kept painted green and it looks amazing. And I did consider um, getting this done too. But I just love it so much. And I've done a bit of research and it turns out that Hulk was initially grey. Um, and the story was that apparently when they printed the comic it didn't print very well grey so they changed the colour of Hulk to green and apparently later on they did reintroduce the grey Hulk so he is a character in his own right. I just love the way the base has been, <laughs> the base has been designed. Just amazing like he's come skidding in there. There you go, that's the back view. Not really much more say I can I can say about this piece apart from if you're thinking about getting it I would highly recommend it. One thing I will do actually is I'll do a size comparison for you. So I just get my uh, can of Pepsi and put it next to him so you can see how big this is. Okay, so here we are with the size comparison. Uh, this is the can of Pepsi next to the base and I'll just zoom out so you can see exactly how big this guy is. I did just measure him and he comes in at about 23 inches. So as you can see he is absolutely massive. Okay, so that's the size comparison. Uh, one last thing I'm going to do is I had a request from Yardman5 to do a side-by-side -side with the Spider-Man comicette. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to have to go to a different room because I've got nowhere in my lounge where I can put them both next to each other and get a different shot. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so here they are together. Two awesome pieces side by side. 
they really do go well together and make a nice pair. It's just a shame I haven't got anywhere to display them like this in my lounge. I mean this is my uh, spare bedroom which I never go into to be honest so I'm not going to leave them in here. When I got the Spider-Man comma cat, I did say in my video that it's the best piece that I've got and I can't actually ever see it being topped. And I'm not going to say that the Hulk comma cat is as good, but it's a lot closer than I thought. It's such a nice piece, just the size, the pose, the paint job. It's just so dynamic that it's it's a lot lot better than I was expecting. And when the Hulk maquette turns up, if I do decide to sell one of them, I think it's going to be a lot tougher choice than I was expecting. Um, but I know what I'm like. I'll end up <laughs> I'll end up keeping both. Because even though the Hulk maquettes have mixed reviews, I I think it looks really nice. Um, but we'll find out in a couple of weeks. So there you go, that's my video of the Grey Hulk Comaquette by Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, my next video will either be the Hulk maquette or another amazing piece which I'm so looking forward to. Which the which is the Medusa rattlesnake by A I A I H. That's supposed to be shipping from China next week. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for those videos.